wow, we have something incredibly special going on today. We're gonna to get like an insider expert's opinion on stuff in the housing market in the Treasure Valley. What is this all about? Let's find out next. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here. And I say we have something special going on today. And so we did enlist the, uh, the help of our local expert, um, Stephen. You remember Treasure Valley Stephen? Well, I tell you what, that guy is sharper than a tack. And we're gonna ask him, we're gonna pick his brain on what's going on with some housing issues here in the Treasure Valley. But first I wanna remind you that if you think the Treasure Valley is the place you might wanna to move to, hey, give us a call, text, email. We've all made that relocation journey and we're very much looking forward to answering your questions about that. Like this video, share it with somebody that might need to see it, subscribe to our channel. We have subscriber giveaways all the time and we wanna make sure that you're involved with that. And also go to our website, that resource tab, at www.treasurevalleydave.com is got just tons of great information, all free, all for you. So let's go see what's going on today with, so ta-da, oh my gosh, there you, Steven, what is going on? You've changed. Hello there, it's Treasure Valley Steven here, and I'm gonna do a little video series that I'm gonna call Good better, best, bling. So that basically means in the good category, the houses that are on the market would be first time home buyer kind of situations, stuff under $300,000. Um, better is gonna be more of your median house price. So kind of what um, you know regular people would be buying. You're upgrading from your starter home to the better option. Best for today is between seven and $800,000. And then bling, is over a million dollars. So anything in the million plus range, and I've got some pretty cool ones, but uh, let's take a look at this to get started. Let me move my face a little bit. So I will be looking above you just a little bit because I've got my second screen where the houses are. So this is a good house. So it's a two bed, one bathroom, but there's a decent amount of square footage. And let's see here. So it's 249.9. Um, it's an old house, but it looks pretty cute. And it's 928 square feet upstairs and about the same downstairs. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's about 600 or some odd square feet downstairs. So let's take a look at it. So see, it's got that old fashioned charm under 300,000. This is the front porch entryway. And by the way, it's got one on the back too. Really cute. And also, well, Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. There's something I really like about this in particular for this price range. So um, it's cute. The floors, it looks like it's probably um, LVP or luxury vinyl plank. So it's kind of that new uh, engineered stuff that holds up well to the weather and that kind of thing. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. Wait a second. Yeah, look at this. It's got a little, I shouldn't say little, it's a pretty good sized little reading bench there. I like it. Some cute, classic built-ins and this archway, just beautiful. So it's got that big dining room space just off the living room, smaller bedrooms, which you would expect in a two bed, one bath uh, from 1919 or whatever that was. So it's cute, plenty of uh, trim work and that kind of thing, but it's not perfect because again, this is just a good starter home. So it looks like they've done some kind of wainscoting sort of thing here, adding a little bit of character, another small bedroom. Not bad. This is why I think this is the house that I would choose for this price range if I was just gonna go out and buy something for 300,000. Is it, There's a lot of other maybe little upgrades or things you might want to do, but when it comes to being able to live in a house, you need a bathroom and a kitchen. Minimum, right? So the flooring you can peel up in one room, fix that and that kind of thing, but it's really nice to have the kitchen finished. And this just looks beautiful. Nice washer and dryer space, some shelves and that kind of thing. Now in Idaho, which may not be the same for where you are, washer, dryer, and refrigerators are negotiable. They don't always stay with the house. So something to keep in mind. And then this is the, the back entry where I was talking about how it had two of them. Um, now, hold on a minute. 
here you go. There's another look at it. So maybe this is a mudroom. You come in from the garage. You have some shelves or um, bins and that kind of thing to have your shoes go into. A little arborvite or a little pergola thing over here. And again, it's not perfect. But this is a great opportunity to be able to own something. It's got a garage separate from the house. Um, and just a great starter option, especially because of that kitchen. So... There we go. I think that's a pretty good overview of that one. Now let's take a look at the better option. So for the better option, I went with a three car garage minimum because I thought, you know, if I was looking to upgrade from a single car or maybe a two car garage, a third bay is huge. So this is still all of Ada and Canyon County. Um, and there are so many results with a three car garage. I actually went with um, 2,500 square feet or bigger to nail down the one that I felt like was a good option. So, well, that's weird. Why would you leave a picture in there like that? Sometimes real estate agents puzzle me with what they leave in there. So obviously front door, cute little seating area, and this fireplace, nice gas insert. Um, it's just beautiful. I can imagine a lot of nights watching TV and hanging out and being around the bar here. And you know what is a really cool detail about this? These little bit of gold, brassy looking poles. It just adds something kind of interesting to the already great kitchen. The base cabinet's a little bit different here on the island. Really cool modern sink faucet. Um, just got a great feel where it's all going to be open and everybody hanging out together. Dining room space. There's plenty of room over there. Ooh, little desk and organizer. This would be really great for me to have bills, junk drawers, all that kind of stuff that you just sort of need, but you don't want to have in the kitchen, but sometimes you just have to because you don't have the space for it. Well, this is already built in there for you. And look at that. So the mudroom is all set. They've got these drawers, it looks like, the bench, you can hang coats. I mean, goodness gracious, you got all kinds of storage in there. I'm really liking it. Okay, this must be upstairs in sort of the landing second family room, playroom area. That's what I would use it for because I've got two kids. Um, and having the toys up here is really nice because it's separate from the living room downstairs. Um, and you can kind of keep everything looking a little bit cleaner. Check this out. You could put your um, like hamper under here if you wanted to. That's the hall bathroom and then this bedroom. Not a huge bedroom, but plenty functional for um, kids or guest rooms. The master. That looks to be like a, a king size bed, so at least you can tell there's a lot of space in there. Nice soaker tub, walk in closet, dual vanities. You gotta have that. When you're upgrading from your starter house to this, you gotta have two vanities or two sinks. That's just beautiful. All right, so it's a tub shower combo, which is really nice. No wasted space in here. Now, this was the thing that was like the crux of why this house stood out above the others. Price-wise, they're all about the same. But the fact that this one had um, this fire pit, and if you're not into fire pits or whatever, you could convert this to where your hot tub could be. Um, you just bring in some electrical, um, maybe put a gazebo over there. And look, horseshoes. It's great. And a shed, of course. Good size side yard. Yeah, definitely a great option for hanging out and enjoying some summer and uh, like spring, summer, fall around here is really fun to spend outside. Okay, here comes our better option, or excuse me, this is the best option. So this one um, is in Nampa. Now it was so funny when I was looking at, I'll let you see behind the curtain a little bit. When I was looking for these best options, they had the strangest, strangest street names. I mean, I would say like, if there was 10 of them, eight of them had really weird street names. It was just the most bizarre thing. Um, but this one is just beautiful. Let's take a look at it. So again, this is between seven and 800,000. What did we price this at? 724, pretty reasonable. And by the way, all these links are gonna be attached. You guys can go to these, as long as they're still on the market, you can take a look at them yourself and see a few more of the details. But of course, you gotta have a three bedroom or excuse me, a three car garage. Um, and I also included the search parameters for a view. So 
somewhere along here, we're going to see the view. I really like that light fixture. That is cool. Ah, little half bath off the entryway. Love that. Wow. That is nice. Man, that feels good. What do you guys think? That is really nice. I like all the different colors and how well they go together. But hold on. What happened to this poor fan? Oh, you know what? It's turned on. Oh my gosh, the fan blades are blending. <laughs> They're blending in the ceiling. I was like, you know, why would they take the fan blades off? <laughs> because it's running. That's why. All right. Oh, look at these beautiful base cabinets and the white ones up top. That is gorgeous. Built-in microwave over the built-in oven. Um, so you have dual ovens, the gas range. Love that. Also, uh, this is going to vent up and out of the house, which if you're burning something, you got to get that smell and the smoke out of the house. Sometimes they'll just, you know, recirculate it back into the room. That's not good for anybody. You got to get that out of there. Nice farm sink here. Single vessel. Where are my single vessel sink friends at? I love them. Oh, that fridge is super cool. This is a really nice place. I like it. So again, we're getting into, you know, the attention to detail and some of these crown, the moldings around the windows, um, covered patio space back here, which we'll definitely get to take a look at. Nice flooring, great color palette, and a butler pantry. I didn't notice this before. Holy smokes. Wow. That is great. All right. So this is the entryway view. I believe that the door is just right here. So plenty of closet space down the hall there. And here's the master bedroom. Nice size. It's got a king size bed and you can see how much extra space there still is. Nice. Ooh, nice soaker tub. Nice that there's the uh, toilet closet over there. looks like this is a shower. Nice. I really like this. Um, I wonder what kind of wood that is. Maybe like a teak or something like that. It's beautiful. Nice. What a really nice hole. This is really a ton of space. I'm loving it. So this is looking back down that same hallway we said where there's the closet space. Looks like... Uh, well, they have it set up as an office, but yeah, okay, as long as it's got a closet and a window and a door, you got a bedroom. Nice. Really nice. And great to have this utility sink, um, especially if you're working in the garage or kids are doing something, people make a mess. You come in there and you wash all that junk off your hands before you come into the house. You don't have to use the kitchen sink. It's the way to go. I would probably offer to have the washer and dryer and the refrigerator stay with this house. What do you think? Look at this attention to detail. Really nice wood. Those hooks that come around. It's not just like three or four over here. Uh, the full bench in the same cabinetry as the rest of the house. Just beautiful. You know, I might have to upgrade my house to this one. <laughs> I'm really liking it. Oh, like a second master. My goodness. That's great. See, the downside to having a really nice second master is the people that come visit, they're going to stay. They're going to want to stay a long time. Is this another second master or maybe a Jack and Jill? Beautiful. I am really liking it. Now let's go back a couple pictures here. Okay, yeah, looks like it is some sort of Jack and Jill for those bedrooms. Beautiful. I love that. Speaking of beautiful, look at this. Now, this is where the view comes in. You're set up on the hill just above your neighbors, and so you're going to have uh, plenty of sight line. Oh, that's nice. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, that's a plug-in. Okay. I was thinking that that was another natural, uh, natural gas connection for your barbecue, but it doesn't look like it because they've got... The propane tank here. Okay, fair enough. Just going to have to upgrade this junker, you know. This house is just atrocious without that barbecue connection to the natural gas. And if you're anything like me, 
it really would be helpful to never have to refill your propane tanks again. Oh, so there's like a second patio. This must be just off the master. Now let's see here. Okay, very cool. I'm loving it. Not bad, huh, guys? Okay, so that's the good, better, best. Bling. Now, the other parameter I put on here was it was a million dollars plus and it had to have water views, which we do have plenty of rivers around the Treasure Valley and some neighborhoods that have sort of ponds that connect to basically throughout the neighborhoods and stuff. But I really wanted the river, something that was not man-made, wasn't just a pond, wasn't just, you know, somebody had built some sort of man-made pond at their house. I wanted this to be the river. So let's take a look at this. Oh, and not only that, 2,495. No big deal. No big deal. Let's take a look. So the river really pushed this one over. There were some very, very nice options into the three and four millions. But as you can see, this is pretty nice. It's got solar on the back, beautiful front entryway. Look at all that wood. Oh my gosh. Now, the thing that I really think is great is that there's this architectural stuff and of course the beams and there's some even here but that's extended out on the patio as well and so you have so many cool architectural lines and very unique stonework on here where it just it feels rugged but modern at the same time i love it oh that's awesome river right there through this wrought iron um, fence so you're not really cutting down on the sight lines and you got a waterfall. It doesn't get much better than this. Oh, come on. Man. Okay, so there's the river. And this is the Boise River. This is in Eagle, so it's a beautiful location. I mean, just look at that. That is a giant oven. Holy smokes. The range is huge. Uh, the fridge is right here. Something I really like about it is it's got the, um, looks like the microwave and a secondary oven over here, but gosh, why do you need that many ovens? A lot of bacon. Let's just say that. This would be like your, maybe your uh, your pie oven. I don't know. What do you, what do you do with the third oven? Nice. Really nice. Mmm, Beautiful. Baby grand, I was hoping more for a full grand, but that's just me. Really nice detail. I like how this home mixes modern with rustic. Um, like for example, this right here, it's a wood fireplace, but it's surrounded by this giant slab of stone, which has a very modern clean line look to it. Um, and the wood floor is just beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so upstairs we've got this big landing, sort of second um, living room. Gosh, that's beautiful. Yeah, you know what? In, in, rather than buying the, and upgrading that to that other house, I'm gonna do this one. What do you think? Wet bar. I mean, when you've seen how nice the rest of the house is, the other stuff just looks okay. <laughs> so it looks like a four-car garage, which, by the way, I could make good use of. Now, I will tell you, the thing that truly put this over the top, the river, of course, just how beautiful the house is, the architecture, all that stuff, I've not seen this in another house. So you've got your four-car garage, and then there's these barn doors in the back, which, by the way, look at this, you've got an electric lift you're swapping out engines or whatever you want to do. I had to figure out what this was. And I looked in all the details. Do you know what that is? It's an RV bay garage door. That whole thing opens up. And you can get a better perspective here. This whole roof section and everything. And this wall, you see that kind of thick line here? The whole thing lifts up. And it's a hidden RV bay door. So it's extra tall. And you just drive right across the lawn to get through to it. I mean, 
How cool is that? That is just, I, I've never seen something like that. So this is that was one of the main reasons I just thought this has got to be the one for the bling. Talk about bling. So good. Love it. Getting some fall colors. So good. I mean, come on, right? This just doesn't get any better than that. For me, today, this is the bling house. So anyway, what do you guys think? We're going to do this semi-regularly so you can kind of keep up with the market a little bit and just see what might be fitting into your price range. Or maybe you're somewhere in between those niches. Um, let me know. I can change the parameters. We can kind of focus on something else you might be interested in, like let's say um, a vacation home or a fourplex or a duplex. What are you guys interested in? Just let me know and we'll get you all taken care of, all right? We'll talk with you later. Well, cheese and crackers, that was just incredible. Thank you for all that great information, big guy. And uh, you know, if you guys are still thinking that maybe Idaho, the Treasure Valley is someplace you want to check out, give us a call, text, email. Be glad to answer all your questions. And uh, like this video, please share and uh, maybe subscribe to this channel. That'd be a great thing to do. And go to our website, www.treasurevalleydave.com. Hit that resource tab, lots of great information, resources just for you, and it's all free. Well, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, this is Treasure Valley Dave, looking forward to helping you get home.